name is Dina and welcome to your prenatal yoga for the first trimester. Now, since this is the first trimester, you're still a little bit small in your stomach area and this will give you space to move as gracefully as possible. However, since this is your first trimester, you might be feeling tired and if this is your case and you're feeling nauseous, feel free to stop and try again whenever you're feeling more energized so you don't have to push yourself beyond your limits. You might need blocks for today, just in case, have them ready. And we'll start right away in child pose. With the knees separated as wide as you'd like and bring the big toes to touch. From here, let your hips melt down on to your heels. Extend your arms forward, but do plug the arms into the shoulder sockets. Separate your 10 fingers away from each other and let your head relax down onto the mat. If your heels, however, don't make it down towards, if your hips don't make it down towards your heels, that's absolutely okay. Just send them into that direction. And we'll breathe here, inhaling deeply through the nose. Open the mouth, exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhale, exhale deeply, one more inhalation, and exhale. From here, slowly lift the head up and walk both hands towards the right side. Extend them as much as you can. You can separate them shoulder width distance apart and let your head really melt down. Back onto the mat, feel the good stretch on your left side waist muscles. And remember to relax your shoulders. Three breath here, inhaling deeply, exhaling. Two more, inhale, exhale. Last one, inhaling. Exhale and slowly lift the head up and turn all the way to the other side. Towards the left side, arms are shoulder width distance apart. Remember to relax your shoulders down and let your head down onto the mat. Inhaling deeply and exhale. Two more, inhale. Exhale. Last one, inhale. Exhale, slowly lift yourself up, come onto your hands and knees. Now before you go anywhere, make sure that the knees are right under your hips. Your toes could be curled under or not, it's really up to you. Keep the spine really long and keep from hugging your baby in. Now your shoulders are in one line with your wrists and hands are shoulder width distance apart. Biceps are rotating forward and the 10 fingers are planting down onto the mat index and thumb fingers especially pressing down onto the mat. A little bit of cat-cow movements. Inhale as you arc into your spine, look up. And as you exhale, start rounding from your lower back, middle back, upper back, and finally your shoulders. Take a look at your baby. Again, inhale as you arc into your spine and look up. Exhale as you round. Three more like this, inhale, arcing. Exhale as you round. Inhale, arc, arc, arc into your spine. Exhale as you round, slowly lubricating the spine. Last one here, inhale as you arc into your spine. Exhale as you round. Bring the spine back into a neutral position and now curl your toes under if you don't have them there already. Press back into your downward facing dog, inverted V. Now this is the first downward facing dog together. We want to work on the position, starting with the feet. Feet are hip width distance apart, heels slightly turned out, toes slightly turned in. Legs are long and engaged. Send your sitting bones up towards the sky, lengthen into your spine, hug your ribs in, shoulder blades towards each other, biceps still rotating forward just like cat and cow and the 10 fingers still pressing down wide away from each other, index and thumb fingers especially pressing down onto the mat. Now if you need to do any movement in your downward facing dog, please feel free maybe bending one knee at a time, stretching your hamstrings. 
And just a soft reminder that, especially in your first trimester, you might be feeling dizzy and nauseous, especially if you are trying to forward fold like that. So if this is your case, feel free to stop and you start again when you're feeling back normal. Come back into the stillness if you were moving, bend your knees softly and walk your feet towards the top of your mat. Once you get there, feet are still parallel to each other. Root your feet down onto the mat and then inhale, bring the chest, head and arms up. Exhale and release. Three rounds of sun salutation A. Feet are hip width distance apart. From now, since you are pregnant, try to avoid bringing the feet to touch you can, but, but try to separate them, slowly preparing yourself and preparing yourself for that big belly. Inhale, bring the arms up. And as you exhale, swan dive forward fold, hinging at your hips, hands or palms down on either side of your feet. Now, if in this position, your hands do not make it down towards the mat, you have two options. You can either bend your knees and send the hands down or just keep the hands on your shins. Inhale, bring the chest forward. And as you exhale, bend your knees, plant your palms down, step back to the top of the push-up plank position. Shoulders over your wrists, hug your baby in. Take a breath here, inhale. And as you exhale, send the knees down onto the mat, chest and forehead down onto the mat. Inhale as you slide forward into your baby cobra. You have a small belly now, so that's okay if you're taking cobra pose. But if you are in your second trimester and trying to take this class, you may want to avoid cobra and maybe lift up into your upper dog so that your belly doesn't get into the way. And if you are in your third trimester still tra taking that class, you may need to stay in your, uh, on your hands and knees and avoid the cobra or upward dog. Now from here, let's come back to it, upward dog or cobra. And as you exhale, take it back, downward facing dog. Three breaths here, inhaling deeply and exhale. Inhale, exhale, relax your head in between your shoulders. One more breath, inhale. Exhale, now bend your knees softly and start making your way towards the top of your mat as slow as possible. Once you get there, feet are parallel to each other, root them down onto the mat. Inhale, bring the chest, head and arms up. Exhale and release. Two more rounds. Inhale, arms go up. Exhale, swan dive forward, fold fingertips or palms on either side of your feet or on your shin. Inhale, lift the chest up. Exhale, bend your knees, plant the palms, step back to your plank position, body in straight line. Inhaling here, exhale, send the knees down, chest and forehead, or some of you are already more advanced in their practice, you can bring the chin down onto the mat. Now from here, slide it forward into your cobra pose, relax into your shoulders. And as you exhale, take it back, downward facing dog. This time, two breaths in your downward dog. Inhaling deeply, exhale. One more, inhale, exhale, bend your knees softly and start making your way towards the top of the mat. Root your feet down onto the mat, inhale, bring the chest, head and arms up, exhale and release. Last round together, inhale, arms go up, exhale, swan dive forward fold, inhale, chest up, exhale, bend your knees, plant your palms, step back, plank position. Inhaling here, exhale, knees, chest and forehead or chest and chin down onto the mat. Inhale, slide forward into your cobra pose. And as you exhale, take it back, downward facing dog. This time, one breath. Inhale, exhale. Bend your knees softly and make your way up towards the top of your mat. Feet rooting down onto the mat. Inhale, bring the chest, head and arms up. Exhale and release. Now that the body is a little bit warmer, we can start flowing. Stay at the top of your mat, but just turn towards the right side. And this time you can bring the feet to touch. Inhale, bring the arms up. Interlace your fingers, except the index fingers. Relax into your shoulders. Exhale here. On your next inhalation, side bend towards the left. Keep the chest open. Inhale, come back into the center. Exhale, side bend towards the right. Inhale back into the center, relax your arms and take a giant step towards the back of your mat. Take your hands onto your hips, heels are slightly turned out, toes are slightly turned in. Engage your quadriceps, inhale, bring the chest up and as you exhale as slow as possible forward fold. Relax your hands down onto the mat, 
If your hands don't quite make it towards the mat, I'm gonna demonstrate. You can just bring the block, press your hands onto the block this way, that way, or even that way. Or if your hands do make it down towards the mat, just make sure they are shoulder width distance apart. Relax your head completely. And your head doesn't have to make it down towards the mat. Just send it into that direction and keep a lot of space between the head and the shoulders. The quadriceps are still working and they're engaged. One more breath, inhale. And as you exhale, slowly place your hands on your hips. Spine is long, bringing the chest up. Keep the left foot as it is. Turn the right foot out for triangle pose. Arms go into a T-shape. Inhale here, and as you exhale, lean towards the right side. At your maximum, right hand goes down, left arm goes up. If you are more open, maybe the right hand goes down onto the mat. It's really up to you. Relax into your left shoulder as you look up, or you can even look down. Looking up doesn't really serve your body. And lean back, open up into your chest. Inhale here. And as you exhale, turn to face the back of your mat. Take your hands onto your hips and walk the back foot closer towards you until you're able to level your hips. If you're having problem leveling the hips, just with the help of your left hand, bring the left hip forward, right hand, sends the right hip back. Plant your toes down, especially the back toes. Inhale, bring the arms up. And as you exhale, come forward, find your edge. Maybe hands on your shin, or if you are more open, your hamstrings are okay, hands can come down onto the mat. Inhale, chest up. Exhale, go a little bit deeper if you can. Inhale, chest up. Exhale, go a little bit deep. One last time, inhale, chest forward and up. Exhale, go a little bit deep. Now inhale, lift the chest up. Pick the back heel up and come into a low lunge position, sending the left knee down onto the mat. And before you go anywhere, make sure the right foot is in one line with your fingertips. So you have sort of a 90 degree with that leg, knee over the ankle. Inhale, as you bring the chest up, take your hands, interlace them on the front thigh. And as you exhale, draw up your hips. Inhale, lift out of your lunge. Engage your abdominals so that you're protecting that lower back. And as you exhale, draw up your hips. One more time, inhale, lift out of your lunge. Exhale as you drop your hips. Now you're gonna stay here, keep the chest open. If this is your maximum, you stay here, but if you can reach your arms up, go ahead and reach them up. Especially, pinky fingers are facing each other. Relax into your shoulders and create a baby back bend opening into your chest. One more breath. And now slowly release, take your hands on either side of that foot, press back into your plank position for a vinyasa. Inhaling here. As you exhale, release the knees, chest and forehead down onto the mat. Inhale as you slide forward into your cobra pose. And as you exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Now in downward facing dog, feet are sitting bone distance apart. Take your right leg up, keep the toes pointing down. And as you exhale, bring the knee in, lift the back heel and place that foot in between your hands to the best of your ability. Release the left knee down onto the mat. So we're back again into that lunge position. Inhale, bring the arms up this time. And as you exhale, take your right forearm down. But you want to engage that right hand, so try not to go loose with that right hand. Engage it and take the left arm up, open into your chest. Inhale, exhale, side bend towards the right. Shoulders are fully relaxed, still engaging the abdominals. One more breath here, inhale. And as you exhale, release, plant your hands down. Pick the back knee up and rotate yourself towards the left edge of the mat so you're back in your strata split. Take your hands onto your hips and slowly rise up. Now variation number two of strata split, you're gonna take your hands, interlace them behind your back. Relax your shoulders and hug your shoulder blades towards each other. Contract your thighs, inhale, and as you exhale, come forward. Relax your head completely and let your arms really move away from your lower back. One more breath, inhale, and as you exhale, release the hands, press them on your hips as you make your way up. And you're gonna turn the left foot out, keep the right foot in, triangle pose on the left side, arms go into a T-shape, inhale, and as you exhale, lean towards the left, at your maximum left hand on your shin or down on the mat, Right arm opens up and again, lean back. Imagine there's a wall behind you, so you wanna lean back, keep the chest open. 
One more breath, inhale. And as you exhale, slowly lift yourself up. Turn to face the front edge of your mat. Hips are squared. Right hip moving forward, left hip moving back. Plant the back toe especially down onto the mat and the left big toe down on the mat. Inhale, bring the arms up, bring the chest up. And as you exhale, now you can extend the hands down onto your shin or maybe down on the mat. Three undulations from here. Inhale, chest up. Exhale, go deep. Two more, inhale, chest up. Exhale as you go deep. Last one, inhale, chest up. Exhale, go deep. Inhale, lift the chest up. Send the right knee down onto the mat for a low lunge. You want to make sure the left foot is in one line with your fingertips, 90 degree angle with that left leg. Knee over the ankle, and now from here, lift yourself up, interlace your fingers onto your front thigh. Inhale here, and as you exhale, drop your hips. Inhale, lift. Exhale as you drop. Inhale, lift. Exhale as you drop. Keep the hips low, keep the abdominals engaged, and now from here, reach your arms up if it's available to you. Relax into your shoulders, pinky fingers facing each other. Create a baby back bend, open into your chest. And now slowly release, take a vinyasa from here. Plant the hands on either side of that front foot, plank position. Inhale here, and as you exhale, you're going to lower the knees down, chest and forehead down onto the mat. Inhale as you move into your cobra pose. And as you exhale, take it back, downward facing dog. Feet sitting bone distance apart. On your next inhalation, left leg will rise, toes are still pointing down. Exhale, lift the back heel and bring the knee towards you. Send it down. Bring the right knee down onto the mat. Inhale, take the arms up. Exhale, melt your hips down. This time, left forearm onto the left thigh. Keep the left hand engaged. Right arm reaches up and the chest reaches over towards the left side. Relax into your right shoulder. One more breath. Now slowly release and step to the top of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, present the chest up. Exhale as you fold. Inhale, reach your chest, head and arms up. Exhale and release. We're going to repeat the same sequence, this time adding on to it. And from here, you're going to step towards the back of your mat. Feet together. Inhale, reach your arms up. Interlace your fingers, except the index. On your next inhalation, side bend towards the right. Exhale, come back into the center. Inhale, side bend towards the left. Exhale, come back into the center. Take your hands onto your hips. On your next inhalation, take a giant step towards the top of your mat. Heels slightly turned out, toes are slightly turned in. Contract your thighs. Keep the hands on your hips and take your elbows towards each other without taking your sitting bones back with you. Inhale, lift the chest up. And as you exhale, come forward. Relax your head completely. Keep the spine long. So avoid rounding into your spine and keep on hugging your elbows towards each other. Breathing here. One more breath. Slowly inhale, start rising up. Now from here, release the hands, take them into a T-shaped triangle pose at the back of your mat. Left foot remains in, right foot turns out. Inhale, and as you exhale, start leaning towards the right. At your maximum right hand down, left arm lifts up, bend the elbow. From here, we're gonna take a variation of triangle pose. Inhale, open up, and as you exhale, imagine there's a ball and just push it down. Inhale, lift up, open into your chest. And as you exhale, push that ball down. One more time, inhale, open. And as you exhale, push the ball down. Inhale, open up, regular triangle pose. And as you exhale, make your way up. Turn to face the back of your mat, bringing the left foot a little bit closer towards you so that you're able to level your hips. With the help of your left hand, push the left hip forward, right hand pushes the right hip back. Now, I'm going to offer variations. You can either grab hold of the opposite elbows, or if your shoulders are more open, take your hands behind into a reverse prayer. But avoid going like this. You want to really open into your chest. Inhale, lift the chest up, and as you exhale, come forward as slow as possible and find your edge. And just respect the body you have today. Release the hands. Come into your low lunge from here. Press the back knee down onto the mat. Again, 90 degree, degree angle with that right leg. Inhale, bring the chest up. 
Exhale, drop your hips. Now take your hands behind your back, interlace for a chest opener and a back bend. Inhale, bring the chest up, lift your hips just a little bit. And as you exhale, drop, create a back bend. Keep on engaging your abdominals to protect your lower back. And now from here, release, take your hands back down, plank position, body in straight line. For a vinyasa, or you can skip it if you want to. On your next inhalation, release the knees, chest and forehead down onto the mat, exhale. Inhale, take it up into your cobra pose. And as you exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Feet are sitting one distance apart. Inhale, take your right leg up. Again, toes are still pointing down. Exhale, bring the knee towards you and place the foot in between your hands. Release the back knee down onto the mat. Now, take your left foot back to face the back. Turn the chest towards the left edge of the mat so you come back into that position. And before you go anywhere, make sure the right foot is in one line with the left knee and you have a 90 degree angle with that right leg. Take your right hand onto your right hip, reach your left arm up, inhale, and as you exhale, side bend towards the right. Two more like this, inhale up, exhale, side bend. Inhale up, and as you exhale, take a side stretch. Inhale, come back into the center, and as you exhale, take your left hand onto your left hip. This time, lengthen your right leg, straight leg again. The foot is in one line with the knee for gate pose. Right hand on your side or down on your shin. Left arm up, and as you exhale, take your gate pose. Open into your chest. One more breath, inhale. And as you exhale, you're going to reverse it. Left hand goes all the way down. Press your palm down right under your left shoulder. Keep on turning the chest. And now from here, you can stay here in this variation. Just extend your right arm up and keep the chest open. Or if you feel like you have more strength, take your right hand onto your right hip and float your right leg up. If you're taking that option, you want to really engage your right thigh, flex into your foot and engage your toes so that your leg doesn't feel heavy. And if you want to go a little bit deeper, then extend your right arm up and balance here. Remember to press index and thumb fingers down onto the mat. One more breath. And now very slowly you're going to release. Come back into that lunge position. Lift the back knee up, straddle pose. Heels slightly turned out and toes slightly turned in. Keep the hands onto your hips. Inhale, chest up. And as you exhale, you're gonna fold forward. And in this variation, second and third fingers wrap around your big toes. Bend the elbows to the side, inhale, chest up. And as you exhale, fold forward. Remember to contract your thighs. Keep the spine long. Relax your head completely, relax your shoulders. One more breath. Now inhale, lift your chest up, hands onto your hips. As you exhale, rise all the way up. Turn the left foot out, keep the right foot in, triangle pose. Arms go into a T-shape, inhale. And as you exhale, take your triangle pose. Open your right arm up. And same thing, we're gonna take that variation, pressing the ball back and down. Bend into your right elbow, inhale, open. And as you exhale, push. Inhale, open. Exhale as you push. One more time, inhale as you open, exhale as you push the ball down. Inhale, take regular triangle. Exhale, look down as you make your way up and transfer into pyramid pose. Hands onto your hips, walk the back foot closer towards you. Level your hips, right hand on your right hip, sort of pushing that hip forward. Left hand takes the left hip back. And again, in this variation, you can either grab opposite elbows or take reverse prayer arms. Open your chest up, inhale. And as you exhale, come forward to a point where you're feeling okay and you're comfortable still and you're still breathing. One more breath. Slowly release the hands, come into your lunge position from here, plant the back knee down onto the mat. Inhale and take your chest up. Take your hands behind your back, interlace, and as you exhale, lift up into your chest, create a back bend, engage your abdominals. Open into that chest, inhaling. And as you exhale, take a vinyasa, plant your hands down, plank position. Inhale here, and as you exhale, knees, chest and forehead down. Inhale as you take your cobra pose. And as you exhale, downward facing dog. Feet sitting one distance apart. On your next inhalation, left leg will rise. 
Exhale, bring the knee in and place the foot in between your hands. Low lunge from here. Lift the chest up, hands onto your side, and now turn the chest towards the right as you take your right leg back. Left foot in one line with the right knee. Keep the left hand onto your left hip. Right arm up, inhale. Exhale, side bend towards the left. Inhale, open up. Exhale, side bend towards the left. One more time, inhale as you open. Exhale, side bend. Now inhale, open up both hands onto your hips, straighten into your left leg for gate pose. Now, make sure the left foot is in one line with the right knee, left hand on your shin or thigh, inhale, right arm up, and as you exhale, side bend for gate pose. Open into your gate pose, open that chest. One more breath. And now slowly release, we're going to reverse it. Right hand goes all the way down, flat, uh, the palm flat onto the mat. And you can just open your chest here and extend the left arm up. If you feel like you want to go deeper, left hand onto your left hip and then float that left leg. Engage your left thigh, flex into your foot and engage your toes. Stay here or if you want a little bit of more challenge, you extend the left arm up, relax into your shoulder. One more breath. And now slowly you're going to lift yourself up, rotate yourself towards the front of the mat. Pick yourself up. On your next inhalation, root your feet down onto the mat. Bring the chest, head and arms up. Exhale and release. Take a moment here. Stay in your mountain pose. And just breathe. And in case you feel like your heart is beating fast, just extend your exhalations. As you exhale, swan dive forward, fold. Inhale, chest up. Exhale, right leg goes back this time. Keep the right knee lifted. And again, same thing, left foot is in one line with your fingertips. Bend into your left knee and press your hands onto your front thigh. Keep the back leg as straight as possible and rise onto your tippy toes. And this might be enough for you. Try not to take your sitting bones back, but keep your tailbone rooting down. Keep on hugging your baby in, and you can stay here, or if you can extend the arms, go ahead and extend them, relax into your shoulders. I'm going to offer variations from here, so you can stay here or you can take it with me. Inhale, open into your chest, and as you exhale, straighten into both your legs, take your arms by your hips. Inhale, as you bend into your front knee, arms go up, and as you exhale, straighten. One more time, inhale, as you bend into your front knee, arms go up. And as you exhale, straighten and arms by your side. Inhale as you bend into your knees. And as you exhale, hands into your prayer pose, turn the chest towards the right, plant the back heel down, warrior two. Take your hands onto your hips first and work on your warrior two. Make sure the right foot is slightly turned inward and you're leaning on the knife edge of that right foot. Push that thigh bone back and your hips are sort of leveled. Your left knee is bent, and just check that you can see the left big toe from your left knee. Once you have that alignment, engage your abdominals and then extend your arms into a T-shape. Relax into your shoulders and maybe gaze at your left fingertips. Keep everything engaged and try not to sit into the pose, but rather wrap the muscles of your left leg around your thigh bone. Let's take two more breaths here. Inhale deeply and exhale. One more breath, inhale. And as you exhale, you're going, to, you're going to reverse the warrior. Right hand down, left arm up. Reach up. Exhale, side angle pose. Right forearm by the ear. Open into your chest. One more breath here, inhale. And as you exhale, come back into your warrior two. Take your hands onto your hips and slowly slide that right foot to meet the left one at the top of your mat, Samu City here. Now we're going to repeat the same sequence on the left side. I'm going to step towards the back of your mat so that you can see me, but you will just stay at the front of your mat and you will step the left leg. Inhale, take your arms up, and as you exhale, swan dive forward fold. Inhale, chest up. Exhale, left leg goes back. Keep the left knee lifted. Now from here, right knee bends towards 90 degrees. Rise onto your back tippy toes, engage that thigh. And again, tailbone is heading south. 
abdominals are engaged. Stay here or maybe lift the arms up. Open into your chest as you relax into your shoulders. And you can stay here also or you can take the variation with me. Inhale, open into your chest and as you exhale, straighten both your legs, arms come down. Inhale, bend into your front knee, lift the arms up. And as you exhale, straighten. One more time, inhale as you bend, reach your arms up. Exhale as you straighten. Inhale, reach your arms up, come into your high lunge. Hands into your prayer pose. Exhale, turn the chest towards the left, take warrior two. And again, place your hands on your hips. Work on your position before you go anywhere. Left foot, knife edge of that left foot planting down. Thigh bone is pushing back. Level your hips. Right knee is bent. You can see the right big toe from the right knee. Abdominals are engaged and then you add the arms. Relax into your shoulders and maybe take a look at your right fingertips. Three breaths from here. Inhaling. And exhale, relax into your shoulders. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath, inhale. Exhale, reverse your warrior. Left hand down, right arm up, reach up. Inhale, and as you exhale, side angle pose. Right forearm onto the right thigh, left arm by the ear. Relax into your left shoulder and open into your chest. One more breath here, inhale. And as you exhale, slowly come on back into your warrior two. Hands onto your hips, step to the top of the mat. Mountain pose. So from here, I'm going to step to the front of the mat so that we can continue the practice. Feet together. Inhale, reach your arms up. And as you exhale, swan dive forward, fold fingertips or palms on either side of your foot. Inhale, chest up. Exhale, right leg goes back. And this time, you're going to plant the right foot down. Open it towards 45 degree angle. We're gearing up for warrior one. Bend into your left knee. Press your hands onto the front thigh. And again, work on your position. Right foot, knife edge of the right foot pressing down onto the mat, push the thigh bone back, right hip and level with the left hip. Left knee bends and again, you need to be able to see the left big toe from here. Chest is open and now you add the arms. Lift the arms up, relax into your shoulder, baby back bend. Inhale and as you exhale, take your arms parallel to the mat. Take your right elbow under the left one for eagle arms. Stage one, you can just hold on to your left thumb with the right hand. Stage two, palms come together. But wherever you are, avoid going into this way. You want to push the elbows away from you. And you want to level your elbows with your shoulders. So that will give you a good stretch in your trapeze. Inhale as you open into your chest, back bend. And as you exhale, come back into the center, warrior one. Inhale, open into your chest. Exhale, come back into the center. One more time, inhale as you open, open, open. And as you exhale, come back into the center. Release, lift the arms up, inhale. Exhale, take your hands onto your hips. For a balancing pose, peel the back heel of the mat, engage your abdominals, and when you're ready, you can stay here if this is your maximum, or if you can float that right leg, keep the right toes pointing down, keep the right hip in one line with the left hip, and keep on hugging your baby in. One more breath, and now slowly come on back, mountain pose. Let's do it on the other side right away. Inhale, arms go up, and as you exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, chest up. Exhale, left leg will go back, keeping the left knee lifted and plant the foot down, rotated outward, 45 degree angle. When you're ready, bend into your front knee, hands onto your front thigh. And again, same thing, knife edge of that left foot pressing down, thigh bone is engaged and is pressing back. Hips are leveled, right knee bends towards 90 degrees. You can see the right big toe from here. And then finally you add the arms, warrior one. Relax into your shoulders. Palms are facing each other. For eagle arms, take your arms parallel to the mat. This time left elbow will go under the right one. And stage one, either catching the right thumb or palms together. Remember, wherever you are, you don't want to go this way. You want to really open into your chest and push the elbows away from you. Inhale as you open into your chest and back bend. Exhale, come back into the center. Two more. Inhale as you lift. Exhale, come back into the center. One more. Inhale as you lift, lift, lift. And as you exhale, come back into the center. Unravel the arms, lift up. 
Take your hands onto your hips as you exhale for a balancing pose. Peel the back heel off the mat, and this might be enough for you today. If you feel like you can go deeper, lift the left foot, left hip, and left toes are in one line, and the toes are still pointing down. One more breath. Slowly as possible, release. Come back into your mountain pose. Close your eyes for a moment. Slowly open the eyes and turn to face the right edge of the mat. We're slowly transitioning into the floor series. Coming into a squat, turn the toes out and the heels in. Take your hands into a prayer pose. Inhale and as you exhale, start coming down, start squatting down. Until you reach your maximum all the way down. Now, if your heels are lifted, there are two variations. You can either place one block under each heel. And if really this is too hard for you and you're feeling tired, then the other variation would be just having a seat. But keep the legs as they are and keep your hands into your prayer pose. And you want to avoid going into rounding your spine. You want to really lift your chest up relax into your shoulders. With the help of your elbows, push the knees away from you. Close your eyes. And now turn your head very slowly towards the right. If closing the eyes is really causing you to be dizzy, then of course open the eyes. Inhale, come back into the center. Exhale, turn the head towards the left. Inhale, come back into the center. And as you exhale, slowly open the eyes. Take your hands behind you and open your legs wide into your strata split. It doesn't matter how far you reach in your strata split as long as your knees and your toes are facing the same direction, which is up. And your chest is open. If you're having trouble balancing sitting like that, the other option would be placing your hands behind you, but use them as sticks. So you want to support your spine with the help of your hands. Relax into your shoulders, and this might be enough for you today. So you hold it here, and you breathe. If, however, you're okay, you can place your hands onto your shins, wherever you are, close your eyes again, and just keep on breathing. Keep the engagement in your knees and in your toes, and keep the spine long and open. One more breath. Slowly open the eyes, side stretch. Take your right hand onto your right chin, left arm up, inhaling. And as you exhale, side bend towards the right. Open into your chest, relax into your left shoulder. Inhale, come back into the center. And as you exhale, reverse it. Left hand down, right arm up, relax into your right shoulder. Inhale, exhale, go a little bit deeper. Inhale, come back into the center. We're going for a forward fold. So you either keep your hands where they were and you just ju come just a little bit, push your sitting bones back so it gives you more space to forward fold. If you have a block, however, you can use the block, place your hands onto the block and come into a place where your body is telling you to stop and this is enough, so you hold it here. And again, avoid rounding into your spine. And you don't want to hyperextend in the knees area, so you keep yourself bending in the knees especially if your hamstrings are singing to you or your legs are really not happy. You can ever so slowly relax your forehead even onto the block. Take three more breaths. Now slowly rise up, remove the block. Take your hands on your inner thighs and bring the feet to touch. Take your hands on your ankles, lift the chest up. Let your knees drop to the sides. And now turn the chest slightly towards the left and draw a big circle with the chest. Big, big, big circle. Three rounds on the left side. 
come back into the center and reverse it. Start with the right and then from here go back. Come back into the center, close your knees and extend the legs forward. You can, in this variation of Paschimottanasana, separate the feet just slightly away from each other. Lengthen into your arms, inhale, lift the chest up, and as you exhale, fold. You can land your hands wherever they want to. It could be on your thighs or your shins or your ankles or maybe your feet. Inhale here, and as you exhale, just enjoy the stretch in the back of your legs. As we slowly and mentally start preparing ourselves for relaxation, Shavasana, the best and most important part of our practice. Take two more breaths. Slowly release. Bend your knees. For Shavasana, lying on the back. And it's still okay, it's your first trimester, so you can still lie on your back. If you feel like your lower back needs some, some space, you can bring the knees together and widen the feet apart and just let your arms drop by your side, palms facing up. Or a regular Shavasana would be extending the legs to the side, let the toes drop to the side, relax your whole body. Before you go into full relaxation, check with your baby, how do you feel right now? How does she feel right now? Relax your toes, your feet, your ankles, your legs, your hips. Relax your shoulders, your arms, and your hands. Relax your jaw, relax your eyes, and relax your head. Shavasana is usually between three to seven minutes, so feel free to stay for as long as you'd like. And when you're done from your Shavasana, turn on to your right side. And slowly make your way up into your comfortable seat. One hand on the heart, one hand on the belly. Inhaling deeply. Exhaling. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath, inhale. Exhale. Hands into your prayer pose. Thank you for joining me today. Hope you enjoyed the practice. Namaste.